Now that I'm looking through the individual teams in this matchup, it's a surprise that some of them are even going to get together. Get along, even. The men like Casey Luchador and whatever the f Dragon Razor. Alright, that's an interesting pairing. I'm surprised they didn't shove you with Johnny Rockstar or something. But, to say the least, the one team, the two teams that me and Shay are focused on this week is the G.O.D. and Bluegrass Alliance. G.O.D., we've been going back and forth for years now. But then, last you saw us, Scotty Martinez was a part of us. Now, it appears as if him and Bluegrass decide they want to turn on me and run their mouth. Bluegrass wants to run his fucking mouth to Scotty Martinez and turn his ass on me. And then reform his little fucking crew, the Bluegrass Alliance. Like, I'm fucking scared of that shit. That sounds, that just sounds like some little country-ass shit. Meanwhile, you look at us, the blades. We're thick, the blood is thicker than water. Our, fat, our blood runs deep between the two of us. For fuck's sake, we're family. Compared to you two, who don't have shit on us. And then you look at G.O.D. That, my friend, D.D.B. and Raisin, those two seem to have a better chemistry than any of you. And then you're looking at the Prophet and a Mystery Man. That's the one that everyone is waiting to see what happens. Who is the Mystery Man? Who are we looking at? Who are we facing off against in this? And all that we know is it's a man that's known across the world. The theories, the rumors are going rampant. It's not like anyone really knows anything. So shut up before you fucking take your eyes off the prize and you lose. And honestly, Prophet is the ceiling or the floor or a chair for anything. He doesn't show his fucking face, us. He doesn't show himself. What he shows is a piece of furniture or the ceiling. I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's just a fucking thing. He's not a man. The prophet isn't a thing, a man, or a mouse. He's a fucking chair or the ceiling or the floor. Or a broom for that. Sorry, Rockstar, I had to. But, anyways. When it comes down to it, the blades are always going to come out on top. And Bluegrass Alliance, you better watch your backs, because hell... We might just take you out backstage before you can even get out the, to the arena. We'll be seeing you very fucking soon. Let me break this down for you right now, Scottish Warrior. I am not the one that's been dreading this day. I've been waiting for this moment. My entire fucking career here at EFED TV, I've been waiting for the moment that I could take your ass out and get a title here in GRE. No, EFED TV, since the moment I stepped foot in this company a long time ago, I've been waiting for the moment that I could get in that 20 by 20 and whoop some ass and get a title. But has that happened yet? No. Scottish Warrior, you are over here spitting your shit, telling me that I'm afraid of you, when obviously I'm not. You just didn't take the time it took to plan out your steps in advance and think about what you want to say and do to the person mentally, physically, emotionally and trust me I've taken a sweet amount of fucking time waiting for your ass to say something to me you think I'm gonna go and cry like a little bitch to anybody about this result hell no I'm the one's gonna be taking your, your ass out for the one two three and I'll be your champion and you'll be thinking, shit, I should not have underestimated this guy. But, anyways, to finish this whole fuck 
skeeting you shit off. I'm made some fucking blame. I don't give a damn what anybody's ever thought of me. I've been caught everything from a job or a man should be dropped down to develop mount to developmental or a man who should be locked in the insane asylum. But do you think that kills me? No, that just fuels my fire.